Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Krakenfall and today we are reacting to another Let's Game It Out Satisfactory video. I just finished streaming today for Fixmas, which I didn't know about until very recently, which if you don't know is Satisfactory's yearly holiday event. And they change a bunch of things in the game and they make it all decked out with like wreaths and stuff. And there's a whole building side quest kind of, I guess. And there's an advent calendar. It's kind of cool. I have really been looking forward to this video we're about to watch because today we're going to be reacting to, I built a railway system literally through a mountain and into hell. So I've seen this video way in advance. Like I saw it while just looking in the playlist for Let's Game It Out Satisfactory videos. And apparently you can glitch through the world with the train. So I actually started trying to do that myself because I envisioned a supply delivery system in my Satisfactory world. I wanna make a like a subway underneath the world that's all decked out with like a full like enclosed tube around all the train tracks that will take all my supplies from my mega factory and distribute it throughout all of the other small factories where I'm gonna be building other things. And I'll never have to deal with going across the map or getting more supplies. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to build that subway in any timely way. So I'm still looking forward to building it. But in the process, I, I have figured out how to, how to glitch through the world. I want to see if Let's Game It Out does it in a similar way. Here we have a train station just on the edge of the map. We're ne right next to the void by the waterfalls. Um, oh, don't worry about that. We have train tracks that I just ran into the cliffs. So I started the train tracks over here and I moved them through and I tried to place them so that it was clipping through the wall. And I did the same thing over here. I think I built the train tracks right up to this point. What happens is when you get into the train, you are you are solidly inside the wall. And if you get out, now I got out on the other side. And now you can build another train track and do the same thing. And then there's there's like these inner walls that you you know that you still can't get through. So I built another train track and another train. And I did it. So now I can build <laughs> I can build oh wait. No, no! <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I just locked myself out of my train tracks. Okay, so let's just, let's just build out. Make sure I can get back out. I don't want to die because I've got all of my valuables. Okay, cool. Hello, giant man. I'm going to give you a head someday. Anyway. <laughs> so I am, I'm excited to see this video. I want to see what Let's Game It Out does to clip through the world and, you know, what does he do underneath the world? What would you do if you heard Let's Game It Out creeping underneath your floorboards? And as always, before we get started, if you haven't seen this video, please go over to Let's Game It Out's video first. I'm gonna put a link right here. Just go ahead and click on that, watch the video, give Let's Game It Out the views that he deserves. Let's make sure that this isn't the first place that you've seen the video because Let's Game It Out is awesome and he really does deserve the views. Thanks for doing that and let's continue. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. It's that time again. Satisfactory. Let's do this. We've built a lot of crazy things in this game, starting with this little zigzaggy guy, which turned into this zigzaggy guy, which turned into seeing if we could make a spiral, which you can. And all it cost oh, you it is your frame rate. Oh, it started as a spiral. I guess I missed and that. It on the ground and the tornado this started as a thing. spiral, huh? It takes three hours for these materials to get through here. After that, we returned to the tornado, built some factories inside it, and we gave it a little cone hat thing. Now it looks like that diamond thing from No Man's Sky. I was also trying to make like yes. a truck ball pit thing that we could ramp over with our... Speaking of, I never I never actually saw the diamond thing in No Man's Sky. Maybe I didn't beat the game, but I definitely was missing it when I played. Sweet vehicle. But instead, it turns out we made sentient life. These trucks are alive now, and they made my frame rate even worse. Pretty much everywhere in our base. What happens if he gets in the truck when it's flying up. I mean, does it? Does he just keep on flying with it? Now is just a total spectacle. So let's take a look, see what's new. Something that's new is a monorail train technology. So we got a choo-choo train. We got a choo-choo car, choo-choo station, whatever the hell this is, this sadness, and the railway, which I'm hoping I can abuse. Here's another piece of the fun, by the way. This here is the space elevator. You know what? All the materials I need to unlock stuff aren't even close to this thing. So let's just dismantle this thing and take it with us. If you go right over this ridge, <laughs> I love you can that you can do that. that 
by the way. That machine right there is what's making our computers. And right over there is the big machine that makes the heavy modular frames. Geez, Space Elevator, why are you so big? <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. Slam that bad boy down. Watch as it slowly gets rebuilt. I'm actually glad we all get to watch this again. Looks like a bunch of robot legs just doing a, th a thing. And then before <laughs> you know it, oh, oh. <laughs> God, this is so weird. And then the toes grip on and oh, I forgot all about this part. Once Space Elevator is satisfied. <laughs> Why did he have to call them toes? with the materials. It tells us to lock them down into the thingamabob, which we're doing now. They're just compressed into one big space cube. And then we space send it onto the space elevator. Now let's dismantle the space elevator before it has a chance to send the materials. It looks like they're still trying to send them into space. Okay, let's check out the hub, see if the tier unlocked anyway. Hey, there it is. Take that space corporation. Nuclear power. All right, let's see what we got. A nuclear power plant, nuclear space batteries, control rod. This might be spoilers for me. I just got to the point where I'm about to start with nuclear power. Yeah, I'm not ready to start with nuclear power. So I, I had to cancel it for this stream. I was going to do that and I'm, we're going to get started pretty soon. But I, I hope he doesn't explain too much about it. It's nuclear phone booth and then this white square, which if you use your imagination, you can see a hazmat suit in there. <laughs> Filters and then new thingamajigs for my scanner. And then we've got Bayer process. Ooh, Miner Mark 3, Conveyor Belt Mark 5, Alucard aluminum sheets. That thing I had Alucard, trouble putting on my processor. Like Castlevania. My cup runneth over. There's so many things it's even going off the page here okay so that's great and all but we'll come back for that right now it's train time okay so here we are out in the middle of nowhere where everything is simply untouched by civilization you may also remember it as the place i went to try to get oil and then just drove off of a cliff this is the way to the coal you tell me where the coal is i oh oh that's not good you think the vehicle's gonna be okay yeah i'm sure this the is my will first okay. coal note over heaven. here <laughs> oh no so i think the first thing we need to make is a train station we're gonna put the train station right i guess like this oh yeah Yes, old scov scov scov. Can I change that? Oh, thank God I can name my train station. <laughs> Don't get on this train if you value your life. No, seriously, this guy is a huge psycho. Typed in a couple of things. <laughs> let's uh, let's see if it fits on the. <laughs> wow. Oh my oh. God. I wasn't expecting this. I'm not going to give you the what? whole story. I'm just going to get to the relevant part that you should know about. One day I ate an entire three and a half pound bag of Sour Patch Kids. That's really <laughs> the only part of that story you need. Please. So don't eat a three and a half pound of bag of Sour Patch Kids. I've heard about somebody that did that. And they were on the toilet for the rest of the day. If you value your colon, don't do that. Don't take this out of the game. This is not a bug. This is perfection. So here's what I think we're going to do with our train station. You see that paradise back there? I'm on our train to go there. Can I just like build railway? Okay, so it can do subtle curves and it can do fun little straightaways like that. And if I time it, I can also shove it through the ground. Perfect. Okay, so it can do stuff. It just can't turn too drastically, you know, like real trains, I guess. Well, now that we've laid a minimal amount of track, I want to put down a choo-choo train and see what happens. Yep, there it is. Can I just like hop on board? Board? Wow, I sure can. And now I'm driving it. Yeehaw. Oh, wow, this thing can really get going. Do you see this? Oh, wait, what's going to happen now? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what happens when it gets to the end? It... Oh, really? It, it just, just stops, stops yeah. Like this? Wait, I like that it just stops. In this part where I'm uh, one with the ground. And then I just get out. Oh, I guess I'm just in the rock face. So okay, if I remove well. Track, that, it's all... <laughs> that was a lot easier than what I did. <laughs> I bet you can still do this, too on at the time. Oh, <laughs> just decides, uh, well, we're stuck here then. Okay, new objective. Looks like these things can just clip through walls to get the rail close enough. All right, how can we use this to our advantage? Because it seems like trains don't give a crap about physics. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, okay, this is kind of what I did. Way, is this they, have I so, put they have so many... Um, sorry, I'm really distracted. Hobbs is grooming me right now. Oh, and he's gone. They have so many... Uh, inner walls underneath the ground. I wonder what that's for. Probably, probably because the textures that they're using for the the rock pieces are a lot larger than what they're showing. So rather than having a bunch of rocks and just placing rocks that are perfectly sized and perfectly made just for that one position, they make a lot of large rocks that have like protruding like rock faces, like little bumps and stuff. And then they just turn the rock to just pop it through the ground so that it looks like a regular rock. And then it saves them time from having to rebuild rocks and, and build a bunch of rocks. They just build one big one and then use different parts of it. So never mind. That's probably what they're doing. It's still annoying because you 
when you want to clip through the world, you got to deal with all those walls. Okay, well, as I've been building this thing, I uh, have hit what I believe to be the bottom of the level. Can I put track, like, below where you're supposed to? Oh my god, I think you totally can. So in building this, I realized that you can just use these foundations to keep going lower and lower here. These trains are afraid of nothing, as it turns out. Oh, 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 oh that hurts. My frail human body can't cross this threshold without hurting myself. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very dignified way to die. Now the question becomes... When I build my subway, I'm going to have to build a sheet, just like a, a one meter foundation right above the kill line so that I never accidentally die. Um, so what about if we use a train? Oh, hell yes. While we're in the train, we're basically gods. Okay, we're gonna have to work on some ways to keep our health up. And I Whoa. have just the thing. I don't know when this showed up. We can research a medical inhaler. Okay, here you go. See you in hell. Let's see. I bet we can build it over here. There it is. What do we need? Wait a second. <laughs> you don't die if you're in the train? That's awesome. I don't need that floor then. I don't need to make a floor on the kill line. Well, well, I should just so that if I get out or like I'm in servicing the subway, then. Oh, that's cool. How far? Wait, is he? OK, I hope he show. <laughs> I'm getting excited now. I hope he shows us what happens if you go all the way down. I mean, you probably can't because you can only build so far on sight line. So you probably can't take the tracks. You can't build the tracks low enough to hit the very bottom of the world. I wonder if there's a limit to the bottom of the world. Now I want to glitch. <laughs> I want to glitch to. Sorry, this is giving me all these ideas. Now I want to glitch to the bottom of the world and see like what happens. How far can you get? What's the maximum distance that you can build without hitting, you know, underneath the kill line? Like, is there a way to get past the sight line build distance? I need to make it. Mycelia, alien organs. I see. The one thing I don't have a bunch of. You know what I do have though? Let's go find some wildlife to maim. I bet there's some critters in here. Good thing I brought an old friend of mine. Nice throw. Good football throw. <laughs> Let's try it again. Do it with a little <laughs> more feeling. Hit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I see. One's not enough, huh? Okay, Rox, maybe this is more to your liking. Let's <laughs> see if you like this a little bit. Uh, hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that just goes for a while, doesn't it? Huh. Was there nothing in here? The hell is this thing? Oh, this is a huge disappointment. A work in progress. Wait, does Josh do a video where he just places the maximum amount of explosives possible? Because if he does... I want to see that video. I definitely tried that in Minecraft on my server when I, you know, I hosted my own server and I set as many as I could and it literally crashed the server. The server was frozen and locked up. At the time, I don't think they could handle, I think it was probably several thousand TNT. I think they fixed it now so that you can do a lot, but we had to wait for the server to process all of those explosions. Everybody got kicked from the game and we just had to wait until it finished and it was just a wasteland. But I would love to see what happens when you explode. I don't know. I, I currently, for no re no good reason, have 17 containers of noblisks. So I would love to see what happens when you blow explode all 17 noblisks. I'm not doing it in my world because I'm saving all of the environment and plants and trees and stuff, but that would be interesting to have a world in which you just explode everything. Anyway. Beer that doesn't do anything. Here, you can keep it. Mm-hmm. 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 You got any guts in there? Great. One <laughs> alien organ. Okay, 26 should be enough. Let's do this. Now I'm one of the cool kids running around with my eight inhalers. I like how you can see all the times I've died down here because my little coffins are here. Okay, so my goal here, keep going down as far as we can. Oh, okay, I'm okay, he's doing it. slowly trying Good. to build down and down and down and also using these platforms to get me closer and closer so I can keep building. But I got to get a little further down and this is where things get dicey right around here is the threshold where i start to take little bits of damage it's time to use my okay okay so you don't die immediately that means that you could potentially use a hyper tube to fling yourself down and as long as with zoop mode because I, I i i'm guessing he doesn't have zoop mode in this update build as far down as you can go and i don't know how far josh gets in this video but maybe you could go even further i inhaler Oh, this thing's bigger than my head. Yeah, this is the way to play, right? Like, this is what they intended. Oh, I guess you, you could, yeah, I guess you could do what he's damage doing. Forever. Okay, inhaler. so we've sort of hit a problem here. Obviously, things are already looking bad now that I'm here doing construction in the underworld. You know what the hell with it? I'll just show you. There is a finite point when if you just keep walking, you just die. <laughs> oh. This is that threshold right here, where if a human being goes beyond this, that's when your heart just that's stops. That's disappointing. Something really funny to me about this inhaler. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have one, but it's like, oh no, certain death. 
I'm glad my little casket is just right there on the cusp. Let's see if we can get out and get it. Like, I've got some trusty like inhalers. That. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh god. Oh god. There's no way for me to get to my stuff. Well, if this takes you straight to hell, I can't think of a better place to put a train station than here. Ta-da! Now we have a train stop as close to hell as we can get. Old Stenstorp. I guess you're gonna have to do since I actually can't change this. Well, that was <laughs> surreal as hell. Let's do a quick tour of the finished product here. I was gonna go to that island, but that's before I realized the rails don't really care about solid rock or land or anything like that. You remember the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland? You remember where it went right into the rock face? Well, that's what's happening here. And then we just keep going down <laughs> past where the terrain is. You can see the grass Indy. from the underside. And then we just keep on going. Take that, planet Earth. And what the hell? Let's put the space elevator down here. Why not? Isn't that a thing of beauty? Now it's doing that oh thing that gosh. I find really weird and uncomfortable. This is amazing. At. Oh, God, here it comes. Right through the rock and everything. Well, that's super. Let's go see what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> well, there it is. Look at this beautiful intersection of so many things. We got the space <laughs> elevator popping out through the ground, and it cuts right into my text that I wrote, where I'm writing that my teeth are forever sensitive from eating too many Sour Patch Kids, and that's true. And now I can just oh, go right teeth up and are touch the that's, space that's elevator. Not what to my uh, or not. Maybe after all that train stuff, I'm just not corporeal anymore. All right, anyway, that was a barrel of laughs. Now that we're back up here with Mother Gaia, let's go play around with some nuclear energy. First things first is we need to go find us some uranium, because of course we do. Oh, fiddlesticks. Is there no uranium around? Here. Oh, there we go. 1,500 meters. That's not so bad. That's like, what, two basketball courts? Okay. Huh. I feel like we <laughs> might be getting close. That green stuff looks exciting. So exciting, I need to use my inhaler. Let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah, some uranium. Oh, yeah, I'm getting radiation poisoning. Well, I'm not going to let a little radiation stop me from... Oh, 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 it's a little much. little much. When does it go down? Am I just like this forever now? I mean, I got a lot of these inhalers, but not quite this many of these inhalers. This is exactly what I expected out of today. I'm fleeing from the wilderness to get back indoors while I use my inhaler over and over while running. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh god, there's the cocoon. It's so beautiful. Blah. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, it's because I picked up some uranium. Yep. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you uh, <laughs> just right here on the ground while I try to figure out what to do with you. I guess we need that hazmat suit. That stuff is serious. So let's see. All we need is rubber and plastic and all clad aluminum sheet like my pots and pans. Oh, it comes from aluminum ingots. Oh, it's aluminum foil. Why don't we just call it that? For starters, we need to make some <laughs> aluminum ingots, which is bauxite and silver. Silica. All I want is to wastefully make nuclear byproducts. Why is that so hard? God, this looks so <laughs> goofy. Here comes our copper. Let's further desecrate this crash site and just have everything trampled by copper ingots now, where we will do some sweet, sweet assembling, and we'll put the storage unit. There's no way this will work. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> I can't believe the game let me build a storage unit up there. Anyway, yeah, that's where the sheet metal goes in my secret little tree fort. Surely that's gonna be okay on these tree roots, right? It's time to make our hazmat suit, and what a thing of beauty this will be. Oh. All we need to do is hit this thing 30 times and now we have our brand new now I want to make not a tree fort, but I want to make a house or some kind of facility in the trees in the forest. Oh, there's an area by the there's a big tree area kind of northeast of where he's at right now. And it's got the, those huge trees and it feels kind of like Kashik if you know Star Wars because I'm a nerd. Nerd alert which is the Wookiee place with the, the great forest that are like super, super long, tall, super, super tall trees. And now, now I want to make huts and like catwalks and stuff around the trees. That would be cool. Tree facility. It's going to happen. I, I need to stop. I need to stop coming up with all these ideas because I'm going to want to do them all. I will, I will never be done playing satisfactory. Let's just say that. The hazmat suit. Ugh, forgot about these things. Filters. Quick wire. What the hell is quick wire? Caterium. Oh, God. At least you can tell I look super sweet in my hazmat suit. I found some caterium ore along the way somewhere. I put it in this thing, did a little researching. Made something pop up over here in tier three, which is the caterium technology thing. We know the drill. We just got to give it all these materials, and it's going to give us access to all these things like quick wire. But also blade runners. Sprint faster and jump higher. I Magic love blade legs, runners so finally. much. Okay, here you go. Send the thing. Cool, now we can make quick wire. And we need caterium ingots for that, which we can scan for. Okay, yeah. so we're going to make some regular filters. Going to take those, going to mix it with our quick wire and some rubber. We're going to do five because I don't want to deal with this ever again. Okay, I'm totally wearing it. I don't know why I was expecting more. I was expecting everything to sound like I was in like a space suit. Why can't I wear my <laughs> jetpack too? It squeaky, I'd rather have radiation every time poisoning. I also <laughs> researched the 
actual quickwire, which unlocked Heterium Electronics, which be still my heart, has unlocked some fun things we're gonna need, like this here AI limiter, as well as a supercomputer, and this high-speed connector that I'm gonna call high-speed internet. The reason we're gonna make all this stuff is if you look over at the nuclear oh man, power if I could only plant, we need supercomputers make to some, do it, make as well as more high-speed connectors, because it can't just be one thing. Okay, at long last, it's time to drop down our nuclear power plant. We should put the power plant somewhere kind of exciting, kind of nice. You know, somewhere overlooking several waterfalls. How far off the edge can I do this? Perfect. Yep, there it is. <laughs> just hanging out in the water. What do you think, big guy? Do you, uh, do you like things touching your face? No, don't. Huh, guess not. So I was gonna try and get to all the nuclear stuff today, but I think there's still a whole lot left to do. So we're gonna save that for next time. I have some more ideas for what we're gonna do with the train too, so come back, we'll see how this goes. And also don't forget, don't eat a three and a half pound bag of Sour Patch Kids if you wanna keep your teeth not sensitive. You're welcome, and I'll see you for the next one. His name was Whale Boy, and he will be remembered. <laughs> I, na I named a Whale Boy in my, in my world. I have not harmed any Whale Boys in my world, so I'm distressed. <laughs> No, that was a good one. Ugh. <laughs> My cheeks are tired from laughing. I really enjoyed that. I guess, I guess with the ultimate kill floor that you cannot get past and you will die, there's probably not too much of a reason to build down to the kill floor. I mean, there's not, not really going to see anything. I guess if you turn off fog, you might be able to see something down there. I did not expect him to, to do nuclear though. So that was, that was a bonus. That means I've officially caught up in my world to where LGIO is and now LGIO is ahead of me again. So I'm going to have to go back and play some more get through nuclear. The next video is about nuclear. And so I'm going to want to be at least a little bit more familiar with nuclear before I watch that reaction. That means I'll probably react to either a different series, maybe Hydroneer, or I could react to Spiffing Brit. I've got a video I would like to react to beating Cyberpunk with just your fists. So let me down, know down in the comments uh, which you'd like to see next week. I did play Cyberpunk 2077 a lot, not as much as Satisfactory. I've played Satisfactory more than three times longer than I played Cyberpunk. I, I actually have a friend who did the Gorilla uh, there's a skill tree where you can use your fists, so I would love to see what Spiffing Brit does. Anyway, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see Hydroneer, let me know down in the comments. And with that, I think that's it for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Click the bell to know when I uh, release new videos. It really helps the channel get seen. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Krakenfall. This has been fun, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.